The 2015 to 2024 missile market is expected to value approximately 360 billion US dollars over the 10 year period, with the PGW market valued at 67 billion. Both markets are expected to increase significantly over the next five years, with the missile market showing a compound annual growth rate of 10.5% and PGW 9.4%. The top three suppliers in the missile market are Lockheed Martin, Raytheon and MBDA. Lockheed Martin have the highest market share with 12%, a value of $44 billion US dollars over the 10 year period. This is driven by large Pac-3 sales, in particular Saudi Arabia who placed an order in 2015. Raytheon's 10 year value in the missile market is $35.56 billion US dollars, with 30% of this generated by the SM3 interceptor. 65% of this value is generated from sales within the US, and this compares to 50% for Lockheed Martin. This shows that Lockheed Martin has a higher proportion of its revenue generated by export sales, and Raytheon is more largely dependent on the internal market. MBDA has a market forecast of $21.35 billion, and this is thanks to sales of the Aster and Meteor missiles. Its primary markets are its home markets in France, UK and Italy, However, its export sales are increasing, particularly to Saudi Arabia, for example. Raytheon also leads the precision guy weapon market with a value of $3.2 billion. However, this is down $1.6 billion, largely due to cuts to the JSO program. This has enabled Boeing to close the gap with a market value of $2.8 billion. In fact, if we only considered precision guy munitions as opposed to other weapons such as torpedoes, Boeing would lead the market thanks to sales of JDAM and small diameter bomb. The 2015 to 2024 precision guided weapon market has increased by 7 billion US dollars since January 2015. This is driven by high demand for air to ground precision guided munitions and this is because of a high usage of precision bombs in conflicts such as the one in Syria, Iraq and airstrikes over Yemen. This isn't just western weapons, it's also Russian weapons and we've seen the KAB 500 munition being used for the first time. Then in the West we see weapons such as JDAM and small diameter bomb being used quite extensively throughout the campaign period. As a result, uh, manufacturers such as Boeing have seen their 10 year forecast increase by 42% over the last year um, and we expect them to have a strong forecast as a result of this high demand. In the precision guy weapon market, the UAE are expected to have a high five-year growth rate with 45%. This is due to high demand for weapons such as JSO, small diameter bomb and paveway. The Saudi Arabia are also expected to have quite a high five-year growth rate with 30% in the PCW market and 62% in the missile market. This is driven by the acquisition of weapons such as Pac-3. If we compare this to the US market, the US is seeing five-year growth of 13.3% in the PW market and 6.4% in the missile market. With advances in anti-access aero denial capabilities, there's going to be a greater emphasis on long-range strike capabilities in order to counter enemy air defences. This means greater investment in cruise missiles and on standoff precision guy weapons such as glide bombs. On the other side of the coin, we also expect to see greater emphasis on air and missile defence with interceptors increasing in range, but also an emphasis on directed energy weapons. As energy weapons mature, we can expect to see them used in a C-rank type role against low and slow targets such as UAVs, but also in potentially against incoming missiles as well. The future is also going to see a trend towards com greater commonality with greater dual use of weaponry with one missile potentially carrying out several different roles such as air to air or ground to air for example. We're already seeing this trend emerge at the moment but with tightened budgets we expect to see this, this trend increase even further. We also expect to see a greater emphasis on, on multiple guidance types be that uh, laser guidance with GPS or radar with laser for example in order to increase the target set for that particular weapon can actually engage.